Hello guys and welcome to Technology. This is your host Salman Irshad and today we have a video which is different from the videos we usually make. Today we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna try an experiment today. So basically what I'm gonna do is we're gonna be testing the tempered uh, screen protector. Um, we're gonna create an artificial phone like environment and we're gonna use this uh, this original glass over here that I had lying around. This is from the Galaxy S4 and um, yeah this is the one uh, the glass we're going to test it on so what i'm going to do is i don't have i don't have the exact um temper glass for this screen but instead i'm going to be using a bigger glass for my xperia z2 actually i ordered the glass recently and i put the tempered screen glass on my phone but then apparently it didn't get applied properly so i have some kind of dust and stuff inside so i'm just going to get rid of it i ordered another one for my phone and basically this is a cheap uh, tempered glass um, it comes in this kind of box it costed me about 169 rupees and it, it's uh, from some comp some brand called Moby Glaze it says ultimate uh, defender plus tempered glass 9H hardness and it's got uh, some other bunch of uh, glimsy fancy stuff like uh, you know like it's to a uh, 0.3 mm th thin and it has a uh, 2.50 round edged and some you know the other fancy stuff like you know anti-gloss and i mean gloss finish obviously i mean like anti-fingerprint and stuff like that so anyways uh this is the box that it came with and it's applied on my phone so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna first uh, i'm gonna set it up and i'm gonna come back so what i'm gonna do is basically i'm gonna stick this uh basically i'm gonna first use to move the tempered glass on my phone I'm gonna put it on the, this glass over here. Then I'm gonna stick both of these onto my Xiaomi Redmi 2 Prime it's a box here on top. I'm just gonna stick it with some tape or something like that. And then we'll be putting it through its spaces. We'll be creating an artificial environment like a smartphone and putting it through its spaces. So let's get started. <laughs> Okay guys, so here is the tempered glass in my hand. I got it off my Xperia Z2 and uh, anyways, I'll be getting a new screen guard uh, in a couple of days. So that's not a problem. <clears throat> anyways, so uh, this is uh, the tempered glass. Original glass, of course. And what we're going to do is we're going to put it on the Samsung uh, screen over here. That's made of glass, of course. And... Uh, uh, this is obviously going to overlap a little bit, but uh, basically what we want to do here is we want to test this tempered glass and we want to see if it's able to protect the screen. So what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to find a comfortable position here where it's centered and I am going to be sticking it and yep, it's stuck. Okay, so I have stuck it on this uh, glass over here and now we're going to put it through it. We're going to stick it through this box. Because I think it has adequate weight to it, um, almost uh, close enough to a smartphone and we're going to put it uh, through its spaces, we're going to beat it up and do some weird stuff with it and we're going to see if this tempered glass is going to be able to protect this glass beneath it. Okay guys, so we do have uh, the <clears throat> tempered glass applied over here on the top and uh, we have the whole thing stuck to a box. As you can see here, the box has almost adequate weight as a smartphone will and now, but this is surely a really thick smartphone, something from the 90s maybe, but uh, still, anyways, it does give you, uh, it does mimic a uh, smartphone environment, so we're just going to go ahead and we're going to okay, so we're gonna we're change gonna the camera a little bit and we're going to put it through its spaces. One from my Let's go phone start. and the other is going to be from the camera that's lying on the ground. Okay, now the first thing I kept the box on the ground, I'm going to pick it up. And here's the box, here's the phone. We're going to be dropping it face down. Um, it's probably, it's probably by my height over here. And 
face down. One, two, three. Okay, that took quite a bit. Okay, guys, it took quite a bit of uh, quite a bit fall over there, and it doesn't seem to be uh, it doesn't seem to have got any damage as of yet. Uh, it seems to be intact and it seems to be doing pretty good. We're gonna go ahead and do a second test. We're gonna screw it from elbow height. That's my elbow height. I'm about uh, five uh, four. So we're gonna do that and let's get started. So here we are at elbow height and the camera rolling. Both cameras rolling. One, two, three. That sounded a little bad. Okay, let's go ahead and check it out. Okay, it still seems to be doing pretty good. Um, doesn't seem like uh, there's anything. Uh, doesn't seem like there's anything that's broken over here. So far, everything looks great. I mean, it's faring pretty well. You know. So, I mean, the tempered glass is not affected right now as of yet, and uh, the glass obviously is not broken inside. So, we're just going to put it through one more pace uh, of falling down, and then we're going to go ahead to level 2, that's something else, I don't know. Okay, third time, going down, elbow height, 1, 2, 3, and it fell down, okay, great. Again, um, doesn't seem to have taken any damage as of here again. I think it's uh, I think it's faring up pretty well, you know. Um, people uh, might have not expected this from uh, such a screen guard. And one thing is to note that I have uh, I have tried out uh, the expensive uh, screen guard that's from Nilkin and it broke fairly quickly and i don't know how it just broke but it broke so i have to say it's just the screen guard is pairing up really well we're gonna go ahead and try another test okay guys so we were done with that test and the phone or the dummy phone as you may like to call it is doing pretty good you know i mean uh, by this time i think the phone might have got a few damages and scuffs but uh, the screen has not got any damage and the tempered glass is still alive and is is in scratchless condition as of now so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and try something small like a nail cutter it's heavy it's metal and then we're going to go ahead and drop this knife that i have so this uh, and we're going to check if it's still pairs up or not so let's go ahead and drop this uh, nail cutter i'm gonna drop it at a height of about let's say first i'm gonna drop it at a height of, of about six feet from the camera i mean from the box height it's gonna be about six feet i mean six inches i'm sorry pardon me six inches one two three okay okay mm. so far nothing can't see anything over here as you can see i am um, I hope you can see this, but uh, there is no damage as of yet. Gonna give it another shot this time from about uh, uh, 6 12 feet. Yeah, let's go 12 feet. Let's pump it up a level. And 1, 2, 3, it's slipping. Oh, that took quite a bit of fall, but still, I mean, no damage at all. I can, however, see a roundish kind of mark on this. I don't know why. Okay. But it's not damaged so far and it's still doing pretty good. We're gonna give it one last try with the nail cutter from uh, 12 inches height. And um, one, two, three. So, so far it's not taken any beating and I'm really impressed, I'm really impressed. This, this real cheapo um, screen guard is doing pretty well, it's protecting itself as well, it's not getting damage. And it's protecting screen guard, so we're gonna go another level. This is pretty heavy my friends, this is pretty heavy. And we're gonna test it out 
So brace yourself. This is gonna be from uh, six inches. I'm gonna drop it. Uh, I'm gonna drop it from the pointed edge from here. This is gonna be falling. Uh, this is gonna be falling on the glass. So brace yourselves. Uh, six inches height. Okay. One, two, three. Ooh, and the tempered glass gave way. I'm not sure if the tempered glass gave way, but looks like the temper didn't break. The inner glass broke. Yes, it did. Uh, we're just gonna get it out and we're gonna see what has happened. It probably looks like the inner glass has broken, not the tempered glass. So let's you go and check it out. Okay guys, I'm back and I have to say, the tempered glass fared pretty well. The inner glass just broke in a very bad condition and you know, you can see, as you can see here, this glass is, I don't know, really fragile and uh, it's just broke. I'm, I'm trying, I, I was trying to remove the tempered glass so I could put it through more tests but uh, unfortunately, uh, it's, it seemed to have got stuck, uh, uh, it seems to have got stuck uh, really tightly with the screen so it, you know, when, I'm, when I tried to remove it, it started breaking off from here but still, I'm really impressed how the tempered glass um, didn't give way and the screen uh, did give way before the tempered glass so, I mean, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing but, uh, you, I mean, for one thing's for sure that uh, the tempered glass is really good it, uh, it can protect your phone uh, to a great extent I, I really like this uh, tempered glass the, uh, the one I had before this um, first I had bought an Elkin one that cost about 400 bucks and uh, that broke in a matter of days I don't know how but uh, still I was using it I still used it it, ha it just got a hairline crack on it I used it for a month and then I got another local one that cost around 140 rupees that was un that was also somewhat similar to this but not of this brand and that also broke it started breaking from the corners chipping from the corners and stuff like that but this one seems to be really nice i mean this is much harder than that one and this is a really good glass so in case you're going to if you're looking for a glass tempered glass for your phone do check this out this is, i got this from ebay um this is called uh, uh moby this is from moby glaze mobile glaze uh, i'm sorry this is from mobile glaze and uh, Ultimate Defender Plus. It's a really good screen guard and I think you should try it. The MRP on the box is $399 so it's a really good offer. I got it for $169 and uh, that's about it guys for the video. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, I hope this video helped you out in understanding uh, how the screen guard works. Um, and thanks for watching. If you have any questions or queries do leave them in the comment section below and uh, and do hit the like button, it'll help our channel grow and help this video come uh, on top of your search list. Uh, do subscribe to our channel if you like the video and thanks for watching guys, see you next time, peace out.